Hey guys, so I just thought I'd do a video explaining a bit more about gym takeovers and how they work and how to actually put stuff in because some people don't seem to know. So most people do know the basics though. So the basics are that there's three teams which are blue, red, yellow and they own the gyms and every blue, red and yellow player works collectively with other players of the same colour. Um, in a gym it has a level I, the highest I've seen is 7, but it could go higher. And basically, for every level, that means one more Pokemon can go in. So level 7 can have 7 Pokemon inside. Um, to get the level higher, you if you're on the same team, so if a gym is a red team gym, then you attack it, and it'll gain experience um, for the red gym, and it'll go up in level. And if an enemy attacks it, it'll go down in level and lose how many can go in. So if you want to keep your gym, you keep leveling it up and let more people put stuff in to defend it. So now we'll get back into how things work. So this is the outside view of the gym. Um, I'm not using my own pictures though, they're all off Google, but I've got them pre-prepared. Um, so this is the outside view, so that's how you know if you're finding a gym. You can attack a gym if you're level 5 or above. So if you're level 5, you can go to a gym and just choose what um, team you're in, even if you can't attack the gym. So that's how you get your team sorted as well. Um, so then, this is what will come up when you're in a gym. So, um, the one that's on top of the tower is the best one in there, in CP. And if you scroll to the left, um, like you put your hand on it and go left, um, which will be to the right, you'll be able to see what's in there. Um, there's an easy way to take over gyms as well, which I'll address soon. So, there'll be two buttons um, that you can click on. One's to the left, which only appears when you can put something in and your team owns it. And one on the right, which is a battle button. Um, so, once you click the battle button on the right, where the go is, it'll open up this little interface and six will appear. So you choose your team of six to attack an enemy gym. Um, if it's against an allied gym though, it won't show six different ones. It'll just show one, and you can only use one to attack it. Um, so, that is why it's a little bit harder to level up than it is to beat a gym, because you have six different ones who can fight. So that's why people usually attack in groups to make the XP go down quicker if you can't beat them all. Because just beating the gym once doesn't fully let you kill it. Um, beating it lowers the level until it's level 1 and then you can put something in. So if you want the quick way, what you do is when you beat the gym, so let's say there's a 200 gold bat in there and then everything else in there is like 2000 or more CP. What you can do is keep attacking that 200 gold bat and then clicking run after. So even though the gym won't lose much XP, it still loses it. So if you keep attacking the gold bat, you'll lower the XP a bit more but eventually the goal battle will disappear and you'll have to beat everything else. But if everything's decently weak except one Pokemon and it's an enemy's gym, then it means just beat everything until that last one's left and then use six to go against it. So you can do it in multiple attempts and that's why it's easy to do it in groups to get the XP to go down a lot more quickly. Um, and then if you're on the team that you're attacking the gym off, then you can only use one, so then you just beat the first one or two Pokemon if, you, if you're strong enough to beat more than do it. And then keep doing it until the gym's the right level, and then put something in. And when you put something in, it'll show you on the right when you click on the gym, so it's quite obvious. No, not on the right, on the left. Um, so if you, if you put something in, the uh, XP also goes up a little bit, so don't just like, say if it's a level 2 gym and you got you and one friend and you want it to be level 4 so you can both put something in. You don't need to like keep attacking it until it's level 4 and then both put your stuff in at the same time. Let one of you put it in so then it'll gain a bit more XP because um, say if two people take over a gym, two blue team take over a red team gym, uh, it'll become level 1 but then as soon as one person puts something in it'll go straight to level 2 and then if someone from level 2, like when it's level 2 and someone puts Pokemon in, it'll almost be level 3 straight away. And then just one person attacking it once will make it level 3. Now the XP cap 
for the next level and goes higher every level. So always put your strong stuff in a gym because if your Pokemon is, say, this 5 in 1 and people keep attacking your gym the way I just said, it means the weaker ones will go first until the last one, so always put your strong stuff in, as well as it means that you'll be able to hold the gym for longer. And there's also, um, if you go into the shop, while you while you have something in a gym, you can go into the shop and at the top right there's a shield, and it just means you can claim a defender bonus. And then to actually fight, it looks a bit like this. Um, so what you do is you keep tapping on their Pokemon, and then this little bar to the top left that's filling in for the Taurus, um, as soon as each bar fills, depending on the move anyway, but you can fill it once, and if you hold instead of tap, it will use a special move. Um, but if you know the enemy is using theirs, because it will say, like for this example, Starmie uses, and then whatever, Bubble Beam, or whatever it has, um, you can swipe on your Taurus to the left or the right to dodge the main moves. Um, it's not worth dodging all the time, because you can't attack at the same time as dodging, so only do it for the moves that are actually good. Um, which it will tell you when they are. So that's basically everything you need to know about gyms. Uh, not much else, maybe an easier strategy explained or just for the new players because the game has only been out in the UK for less than a week. So I hope that's helped and I'll see you in the next video.